The BBC's Inside Out program's investigation exposed the degree to which Tesco is ripping off its customers by means of expired offers being left on their shelves for days to weeks to months, fooling customers into acting on promotions that no longer exist. The BBC's investigation showed that the practice is widespread nationwide with most of the 50 Tesco stores it tested failing to remove expired shelf offers. However, regular shoppers at Tesco stores will already be aware of that which the BBC is now belatedly reporting on, which is why I make the effort to read the small print on the labels and check the promotion dates. Though at times it can be confusing when the dates are missing, and when there are several contradictory offers on the same shelf of the same product. This is just another issue that Tesco customers have to put up with. With another such as not having any checkouts open in the evenings, forcing customers to self checkout, they are forcing big spending customers to think twice before shopping at Tesco's, despite it being more convenient, which is why as a big spender, I, I typically spend over £200 per visit. My frequency of Tesco shops has now dropped to about half that which it used to be. So now I tend to drive double, triple, sometimes even quadruple the distance to other supermarkets such as Morrison's and Asda. Though to be fair, there too customers need to check the shelf labels for old expired offers. So it's not just a Tesco problem but an industry wide problem. It's just that Tesco got greedy and did it on a much bigger scale and so triggered a BBC investigation. So this definitely does not bode well for Tesco's financial well-being if it's hemorrhaging big shop customers who are tired of the tricks being pulled on them, such as trying to fool them with expired offer labels left on the shelves and it shows in the steady erosion of both Tesco's market share and revenues that have slumped by 10 billion pounds from 64 billion pounds four years ago to 54 billion for 2016 it likely worse to come for 2017 as the supermarket giant appears to be trending towards a Woolworths moment final bag final bit to go the second shop finished it's the first shop Two shots.